What's up guys, Carl DiClemente here, head of DevRel at QuickNote. Do you know which blockchain you should be building on? Or are you just following the tribalism and false claims? Well today, I'm going to show you a tool I've been working on to help uncover the truth. Let's get into it. So as I began working on this project, I started in the same place I start with anything else I'm serious about. A spreadsheet started to think about what are these specific metrics or attributes of a chain that would factor into it being appropriate for you. Well, this is kind of what I landed on, looking at things like transaction costs and speed, throughput, and maybe how easy it is to build on that chain. Also, factors like liquidity and maybe use cases that they're focused on. From there, I went and started to build out my React app. Well, uh, here's what that chain might look like within my dashboard. Obviously, I have a lot of work to do still on the user experience, but it really starts to get interesting when you take it and you compare between chains. So let's take this and compare maybe Ethereum to Polygon to Avalanche, right? And we'll see all the metrics laid out nicely um, and relative value for these bars compared to each other, right? How do you know off the cuff whether a 12 cent transaction is good or not? Well, you need to be able to see that value relative to the others that you're comparing it to. Obviously, it's significantly better than the $1.40 that you're getting through Ethereum. Well, this is nice, but maybe we want something to hold our hands even further, okay? So the most exciting part of this, I think, is the selection wizard. It'll allow a user to simply sit here and say, hey, I want to build a decentralized exchange and what the most important factors are for my decentralized exchange. Well, I want significant amount of liquidity on the chain, right? I also want maybe a lot of consumers on this chain. And it's probably relevant that this chain is well known for being good for DeFi, right? Fit for your use case. So let's go ahead and do that. Obviously, we factor in the rank of each of those choices. And then what I'm doing is some computation here to determine what chains we would recommend. And we get three out, right? Also noting the reason why these are being suggested. So we'll see that Ethereum has high liquidity and usage for DeFi, right? As well as all of the factors. Solana, um, because it has high TPS and activity. And Base, because there's good DeFi fit and a moderate amount of usage. So this is just the start of something that I hope to build out even further. Take a look at these metrics. Let me know what you think. Am I on the right track? Should I make some changes? How horrible is my user experience? I'm excited to hear your feedback.